What, uh, you know, here we are two weeks or two months since the session was over. What about this issue kind of brought the immediacy of this? Here? Well, certainly the videos that came to light uh, in California, and I'm sorry, I can't recall where the other one was, but th these videos uh, show a very callous disregard for the health and safety of the woman undergoing an abortion, as well as is, is really a disregard for the sanctity of life and utilization of fetal, donate, donated fetal tissue for profit, for money. Uh, so this is something that, that really strikes a chord, I think, with, with, with people, with women, and, and did with me, and I think it's important for us to explore it. Um, what, uh, so we're talking about two, two roles of this committee, seeing if any Texas laws were broken, and then also if we need more laws to, to strengthen. Mm -hmm. uh, or changes the regulation. Yep. Right. Um, What's the timeline like that? Can this wait till two, it's a worst case scenario and these were laws that were broken or, or they should have been. Can we wait till 2017 or is this something that we can do in the interim? How does that process work out? Well, changes of regulation at the agency level can be enacted by the agency uh, pretty quickly if they choose to do so. Um, as far as statutory changes, changes in law, it does require the legislature to be in session. Okay, uh, and so would that come from, you guys would recommend changes from this committee and then ultimately That's it right. goes with the HHSC commissioner, right? right? That, well, we have interim charges that the lieutenant governor assigns each committee. We look at those issues, develop positions and, and changes that we consider are appropriate and then fashion them into bills and then the bills get filed and then we get passed through the legislative session. Um, any, any, you know, Anything here that was said that stuck out to you as something you didn't know about the issue or something that you're now going to look into? Well, I, the lack of um, oversight and supervision of the, the policy or the procedure of fetal tissue donation by our state agencies, that certainly needs to be changed. We need to have better uh, oversight of that, that endeavor of fetal tissue donation to make sure that women are protected and that donated tissue is utilized for legitimate purposes and not to drive profits. Is uh, the, the critics of, of the investigation will say, uh, you know, we need to take on all of the, follow any law that was broken, not just if it was by Planned Parenthood. Is that, has this committee had a broader scope now after before the committee and now after the committee? I mean, they were concerned about universities and hospitals. Right. And, and well, when I, when I prescribe, when I have someone that comes and wants fraudulently a whole bunch of prescription drugs, mm -hmm. as a physician, uh, I know it's wrong to do that. So I don't do it. You know, in the same vein, an abortion facility has the ultimate responsibility to make sure that when they are, uh, are having a, 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 a woman sign up to donate fetal tissue, they do so, again, with informed consent they take care of that woman in an ethical and appropriate manner and do not change the abortion facility, abortion procedure to harvest better tissue or more tissue. And finally, that they don't sell that fetal tissue against federal law. That those things are completely the purview of the abortion facility and they are, again, the ultimate, they have the ultimate responsibility and I'm looking at them squarely to make sure that they're doing their job first. Uh, you know, so Whole Foods, or not Whole Foods, Whole Women's Health was uh, looped into this as well. Mm -hmm. uh, hospitals, any of that scope broadening, or are we still on Planned Parenthood specifically? Uh, you know, we're going to look at any abortion uh, provider. Um, the ones that, that provide abortions both in abortion facilities as well as in ASCs and also in hospitals.